out of Denmark, Copenhagen more specific, and uh, I'm here uh, in Germany because uh, my new album Arbisk, which came out uh, the 31st of January, I'm very excited about that, and um, that m- that's my first album on, uh, on act music, and uh, I've known this label for years and I'm very excited being on this label now. And uh, we're touring around with uh, Lars Danielsson, uh, mein Ehemann, auf Kontrabass, uh, and uh, Buge Wesseltoft, which is an excellent piano player from Norway. And it's only three of us. And it's great so far. special thing with this is that we using classical melodies but treat them in a new way and that we we keep uh, keep the substance of the melodies but we improvise over them and, and change it every day we play it it's different because playing with both Cecilia and Boogie makes it a great challenge to do new things every day because we uh, always uh, improvise and make me surprised so that's I think it's very challenging in this way it's been wonderful so far absolutely uh, I mean it's because uh, of course hopefully it's a good concert but it's also songs and compositions that they uh, have a relation to already and then they hear it in a completely new setting and I think there's they're fascinated by it I'm sure that people have heard these themes uh, some places before in the back of their mind. Uh, some of them must have heard, you know. And um, on the other hand, I want uh, these music pieces just to stand as whole new uh, music experiences, you know, for people, you know, no matter what the background is for the music or the musicians is always what happens now you know it's really what kind of music what kind of mood and the audience is responsible for the result as well You can compare uh, Blue Note and Bruce Lundvall a little bit with Act and Siggy Lock, I think, uh, because both uh, gentlemen, I would call them, definitely, um, are really burning for the, for the music they do, you know, and they don't compromise, not at all, you know. Uh, and I, I remember I was up in this uh, skyscraper at Bruce Lundvall's office, and he closed the door, you know, asked her secretary to, to put out the phones. And then he heard the whole CD and he said, uh, yeah, I like that very much. And, and you're tall and that's good. He said that for some reason, you know, <laughs> I guess he was really surprised. But um, that was just a dream come true, you know, being in the middle of New York and having this uh, record contract and that was... That was amazing, I mean. And uh, this is a little bit the same with ACT. Uh, Siggy Lok is really burning for his artists and his musicians. Uh, and this close contact, which from the record label till the music, I like that very much. And you don't find that 
in big record companies anymore so much because they have to deal with so many other things, you know, compilations, films, uh, broadcast of all kinds, you know. So um, I really like that, that uh, you feel that the staff uh, in Munich at ACT, they're really, you know, engaged in what you're doing. People ask me, what is the highlight of your career, you know? Um, and uh, I must say that when I think about it, it is to be able to play all the time live for almost uh, 25 years, you know, with all kinds of music, with fantastic musicians, you know. And uh, that's really a highlight because I knew from the first time I sat in this cold band car, you know, on the way to Jutland for the first time, you know, I knew this is the shit, this is really, yeah, I love doing this, you know. And not so much have changed ever since. I'm, I'm very excited and, and every time I, I play live, that's what I like most, definitely. I could say, baby, 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 baby. 